Okay, so for today we are going to show you um, how to actually um, troubleshoot or more like um, maintain your um, kitchen uh, hob. Um, this is a gas um, type, um, not the electronic type. Uh, not, neither is it the induction type. So before you do anything um, to your kitchen uh, hob, all right, any maintenance or anything that you're gonna take it apart, be sure to actually disconnect your gas line at the bottom here. All right, you can either disconnect it from the um, from this plug here or from the top here. So for today, I'm gonna to show you uh, how to disconnect from here. Alright, uh, it's just a simple in and out, right? Okay, there's a pin inside there. Alright, I'm not sure if you can see it. Alright, alright. Okay, so we have disconnected this and we'll be taking this apart. Okay, so besides removing all this, alright, you will notice that there will be some screws to un unscrew actually. So there's four, four, two, total ten screws here. So let's get to it. And with the power of editing, ten screws. <coughs> Next up, you would like to actually remove this, and you can see how um, the TAs, um, all the over spills are actually burned here. Um, we'll be washing all this, so it looks brand spanking new. Next up, you need to remove all the knob, just pull it up. And then you might want to set a piece of cloth on the floor because you'll be removing this. Okay. As you can see, it's quite dusty because it was actually in a house that was under construction and the contractor did not actually um, cover it properly so we'll be removing all this and then cleaning it out so to remove this we will have two screws here to release this pipe some screws here to release here and a couple more screws here and there all right okay it's gone so what we need to do right now is to clean this up once again magic all the dust is gone Alright, now I'm going to move on to cleaning the interior of the, or should I say the bits and pieces of the um, oh, which is over here, with a cloth. And there you have it, spanking clean. Alright, now we'll move on to the plates um yeah i don't know what this is called but um i've already soaked it in water and dishwasher for a while so we'll be washing this all right so we have already managed to clean the most of the dirt off of this as well as this However, um, the part where i usually um cook i don't know if you can see this all right so um, I have not been cleaning this um, frequent enough so the food that I cooked that spilled over was a bit more on the acidic side and actually went through the chrome and have rusted part of this. Um, yeah, this doesn't touch your food actually so it's, it's still okay to use, it else I'll just get a replacement. But in the meantime I'm just going to use it. Alright, now I'm going to clean the glass. Okay, there are a lot of water stains as well as oil stains all over it, so we'll be cleaning this up. Okay, so this is clean, um, not to say perfect, uh, but it will be good enough. Most of the grime and dirt are gone. Alright, and we'll be installing this bag right now.
you should align these two. Okay, now all that's left is just to put back everything that was taken out, um, like all this. Alright, if you are having irregular flame, flames, as in um, the flames is only coming out from one side and not the other side, or some of it is not moving. Alright, what you need to do is you need to take a pin and make sure all these are clear, all these holes. There's a couple of them over here, here, and basically the whole thing. Okay, so I've, took, I've taken the lid off again because I forgot to mount this. Okay guys, and we are done um, servicing this. As you can see, the fire is good. But I would like to show you, um, there's actually a knob on the bottom here. There's a knob on the bottom here that actually controls the amount of oxygen that goes in and out. So, if we were to turn up the oxygen, we get these type of flames. But if we turn down the oxygen, you get better flames. But if you turn more, you get irregular flames. Alright, so it's striking a balance there. And we are done. Right, my table broke.